What's up? Oh, that was like cringe. What's up, fellas? Okay, we're taming it back. Today it is Thursday, and we have a really busy day ahead of us. It's Vlogmas Day 3, and I've been loving Vlogmas. I don't know why I took such a long break from YouTube. Like, this entire year, honestly, I have not really been posting that much. But Vlogmas has really gotten me back in the spirit. So I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving the more like daily vlog life where I just kind of vlog my day. That's what daily vlogging is, Emma. So, updates. I can't run still. <laughs> I know, I know. I was really set. If you watched Vlogmas Day 1, you know like I was set that I would be cured from running. Um, I was set that I would be cured for running. <laughs> cured for running. Does that make sense? It's early, my brain isn't working. I thought that my injury was gonna be gone and it's, it's definitely not gone. I'm taking the rest of the week off completely. No biking either. Swimming is pretty much impossible because no pools are open here. Yeah, so taking the rest of the week off, focusing on other things, focusing on work. That's what like the best thing that I think you can do if you're injured is focus on anything else. Don't go sit in your bed and dwell, unless you're like in that much pain where you shouldn't be walking around, but try to focus on anything else that's going on in your life. Like life is so much bigger than running. And I've never really had the problem where I would like dwell on injuries. I was always good about, you know, focusing on other things during that time. But I just wanna like stress how important it is, especially if you're young, is to have other hobbies and like find other things that you're interested in because times like this like where you can't work out or you can't run it's like what else are you gonna do <laughs> that sounds pathetic but i have other hobbies now so um anyways I, if you guys follow me on instagram you know i've been popping out i've been popping out the outfits of the day so here's today's fit i don't know if you can even see it you can't see it how do people like show their shoes on here let me see my apartment is a disaster Okay, this is the fit. Um, we've just got a, this is a, uh, what's it called? Bodysuit. And then we've got a little necklace over it. We've got some like work pants, but they're not only work pants, I don't know. Pleated, whatever these are. We've got some boots on, so I'm 6'4". I wanna make sure to assert my dominance when I'm out and about. Um, but yeah, um, so one of the things that I've been focusing on is upgrading my fashion game. I had a, basically an intervention with my sister and my friend, and they were like, Emma, you need to stop wearing sweatpants. And I was like, you know what, you're right. And I took that advice and ran full force with it. So follow me on Instagram. I've been showing all my outfits on like a daily basis. That's all I've been posting lately. So if you're into fashion, um, maybe you're into tall girl fashion. I mean, I'm 5'11", so I'm a tall gal. Go follow me on Instagram and show me some love because, you know, this is out of my comfort zone, but I'm working on it, okay? I'll link all the clothes down in the description below and you can shop it on the Like It To Know It app. It's such a cool app. I discovered it from another YouTuber and basically any of like the influencers you follow, especially like fashion ones, have the app and they like post on there and they, I don't know, their pictures are like of their outfits and they like tag the clothes that are in them. So if you want to like shop from influencers, it's a super easy way to do so. This is not sponsored. I just really like the app and I've been getting a lot of my inspiration and I bought a few items for my influencer people I follow, so. Yeah, okay. Well, my bed is a mess. I've also been making my bed in the morning because I am, uh, I don't know. I just have been making it. So today we're gonna make it a bed. And I'm also, I'm listening to the Kenzie Elizabeth podcast, so. Sure, all right. On today's episode of What the Heck is Emma Doing with Her Makeup, um, the answer is I don't know, so. In my bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna show you the makeup products I have. Again, if you're a beauty guru, please don't come for me, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. First, I clean my face with these. I've been using these little pad thingies, Stridex, to clean my face for, since I was about 15, so. I, they really dry out your face. But I kind of like that because I have an oily face, especially in the morning. I feel like you're not supposed to wear these in the morning. Wear them. I feel like you're not supposed to use these in the morning, but... Oh, that kind of burned. All right. 
feel like it stripped all the oil from my face, but I kind of like that. So next up, usually I don't do anything, but since I'm trying to be better, do I wear moisturizer? Is that the best thing to do? Maybe use morning and night. This is it says as the last step of your skincare routine. Well, perfect because this is the last step. So I really don't like an oily face, so this is going to be. This kind of irks me. Like it's bad, but I don't even like putting on sunscreen because I don't like my face is all greasy. So do people really do this and then they cover up with makeup? This seems wrong. I act like I have any idea what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay. First step of the makeup is this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Tint. Sorry, I'm doing my makeup in the viewfinder, so. I really need to watch some like James Charles or something. But I want like normal makeup, like I want, his makeup is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I need like everyday makeup. He probably has everyday makeup on his channel, I'm just being dumb. Next up we got our Beauty Blender. And we're gonna blend that beauty. Instead of just talking about my makeup routine, I'm just gonna take you guys through what I'm doing today. So today, um, since I'm not working out, we have the whole day to do whatever we want. But that also means we have a lot of work to do today. So work today means, well, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder Oil Control. So pressed powder. The f I have to get an oil change for my car. I forgot to do that the other day. When I was editing the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually forgot to do what I said I was gonna do. I think that might be the first thing I do, and then I have to go to the Nike employee store to get some Christmas gifts for my siblings and my parents. So I got access to the Nike employee store, which is pretty cool, because I think it's kind of hard to get access to. I mean, I'm not a Nike employee, so. All right, next up we're going up with some bronzer. This is a Revlon natural bronzer. This is so so old, I think it's from college. As you can tell, I'm really well versed in makeup. I look like I have a beard, like I just contoured a beard on my face. Oh my, <gasps> that looks horrific. Is this what I look like when I go out in public? People are like, hey, Emma. Oh my gosh, I need to take some of this off. How do you do that? You know what, honestly, I don't even care. That girl doesn't know how to do makeup. Yeah, you're right, I don't, okay? Sue me. Okay, so I need to go to the Nike employee store. I have to post my podcast today, new episode. Put some blush on. This is the L'Oreal True Match. I'm really concerned about this. I'm making a P.O. box, so I have to go set that up. And then I'm going to show you guys my Black Friday haul. I got a couple things from Black Friday and I'm excited. And then I have to take some pictures for my food Instagram. I'm gonna start working on my next ebook. But I did come out with an ebook. If you guys haven't seen yet, I mean, I've been posting about it all on Instagram, but it's called Crazed Recipes. And it's basically just a curated list of like all my favorite recipes that I've ever made and some new ones too, and some like budgeting tips kitchen essentials, staple ingredients. I cannot believe it's finally live. It took me so many years to make that, but we're good, so. Okay, today I'm gonna wear these hoop earrings. These are from Urban. My entire outfit was from ASOS, by the way. Bruh, I can't get this earring on. Okay, I'm throwing in the towel for that right now. This earring's gonna come out, but I don't even care. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet. I think I honestly might just leave it like this. Like, I'm just not in the mood to do anything with it, so honestly, I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe throw some dry shampoo though. There we go. Ooh, okay, Emma. Next up, we're going in with the mascara. I use the CoverGirl Flourish. Why am I doing it in here? All right. I look good. I'm not gonna lie, I look good. Gonna go in with some lip gloss. We got NYX Butter Gloss. Is that too much? No, whatever, I'ma own it, okay? I 
I see you. All right, let's get out of the bathroom. Okay, took some Instagram pics. <laughs> I'm trying to rebrand my Instagram too because I, uh, I just am tired of my pictures that I've been posting. These are on my refrigerator. Okay, so the Nike employee store doesn't open till 10, so I have a little bit of time. Maybe I can go get a coffee, that sounds kind of fire. Um, but I'm hungry. I need to drink more water too. I haven't drank any water yet today. I'm gonna go in for breakfast with one or five of my black bean brownies. These are peppermint black bean brownies. Guys, I'm just gonna show you them. You can admire them. They're best served cold out of the fridge. This is why they're refrigerated, but these peppermint black bean brownies are my favorite thing I think I might have ever made. They don't taste like black beans. That's everyone's first worry, but I promise that they don't taste like black beans, okay? Um, ha! Ah! <laughs> I just got so scared that my camera was gonna fall. My sisters can vouch, people on Instagram can vouch, these don't taste like black beans. They're really fudgy. Woo! My neighbors are gonna be like, shut up. Oh my gosh, they're just so good. If you want the recipe, it's on my food Instagram. At one crazed foodie, go follow it. I post every day on there, so. I think I'm gonna have two. Treat yourself. Bon appetit. I just did my cold brew video, rankings video yesterday, and I had nine cold brews, and I ranked Starbucks not very good, spoiler alert, but I'm gonna go get Starbucks on the way to the Nike employee store. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me. I'm just a creature of habit. I'm just crazy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna post my podcast now and post on my food Instagram just to get it out of the way. I already have the photos ready and the podcast, so. I put in an espresso arandio. I just uploaded the pod. This one is with Emily Abadi. She's a fellow wellness podcaster and runner. I actually met her at a Nike media event and back in 2018 when we went to NXN together. Um, and she was at the Chicago Marathon last year too. She actually let me borrow her watch for the race because I forgot my watch. Um, but she's really cool and she is someone that has inspired me in terms of like entrepreneurship. She started her own podcast and she freelance writes and edits for like wellness magazines. She's based in New York and I think it was just a really good episode talking about like running, chasing your goals, entrepreneurship, morning routines. I don't know, I really I really enjoyed the episode. It's something that I'm really into right now. And it just kind of branches out from like the usual professional runner scene, which is nice because I think someone like Emily, who has a story of like a lot of improvement over the years in terms of like running and just her business is a lot more applicable to like regular people compared to like professional runners though I do love the pro runner episodes too but this one especially I thought was cool so if you want to listen to the podcast I'll link it in the description down below and there's a bunch of different episodes to choose from obviously but this one was really fun so go give it a listen okay I'm going to go to the Nike Poi store fashion And we're off. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Comedy. Oh Comedy. my gosh. I love when I turn on my car and then I hear my own voice on the podcast. Okay. I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks first and then go get my oil changed because I need to remember to do that. That's really bad to be driving on an overdue oil change. So I'm gonna order a special drink today. I'm gonna order a grande cold brew with light ice soy milk, extra soy milk, and one pump of peppermint syrup. Because again, I don't love sweet coffee, but I do want a little bit of peppermint flavor in, in my drink today. And I have a free drink. Do I use it? Let's see. Do I want a venti? Oh! I think I'm gonna get a venti. Six pumps? Oh, I'll go two pumps for the venti. Two pumps for the venti, you know? That sounds wrong. All right. Eat, all right. Let's listen to some Frank Ocean and get on our way, shall we? Favorite Frank Ocean song, here we go. I'm gonna try to swim from something bigger than me. 
Take off your shoes and swim good. Woo! Scope out my mask. It's my friend Ryan and I. Everyone asks me about it, they're like, who is that? I'm like, don't ask. Got my Starbucks, my gasoline. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm completely contradicting myself. Let's see if it tastes like gasoline today. Today, Like maybe it was just because I was having so many in a row. Okay, taste test. Ah! Tastes like gas, like fire. That was so cringe. It's really good. So I'm confused as to why did it taste like straight up car fuel when I had it in the taste test video. I'm pretty sure they gave me the gasoline order, not the regular one. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, I need to go set up my P.O. box. I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna go get my oil change, and then finally go to the Nike Employee Store, and then I'll do a haul video when I get home of all my Black Friday stuff. So, and the Nike Employee Store stuff. So, if you're my siblings, stop watching. Okay, JK. Not getting my P.O. box today. Um, I forgot I needed to fill out a form and print it out. I ordered it when I was in Flagstaff, so that was like over two weeks ago, so I completely forgot I needed to fill out that form. And I didn't check before I came, so. I'm just a um, dummy, so. Isn't this so fun, guys? Aren't you guys glad that you're watching this video? I don't know anything about cars. They always ask me questions here, and I'm like, I don't really answer. Woo! We made it! I can't take you guys in with me because it's not allowed to film in there. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna go get some stuff. I'm gonna buy way too much stuff. I'm gonna buy way too much stuff for myself. I just know it. This bag, it doesn't do it justice in this car, but it is massive. <laughs> Whoops. I just spent so much money. I don't really shop. Like, I never really shop for myself, but I have been lately just because I wanna upgrade my wardrobe. Um, so I'm like trying to get past my inability to spend money on clothing for myself. Please don't judge me, okay? But I was really craving some um, roasted veg. So I made some, <laughs> like a meal prep, some roasted veggies. So that's what we're grabbing on. I mean, it's lunchtime, but something tells me I'm gonna be hungry after eating these roasted veggies. Time to do our Black Friday and just a shopping haul, you know? I've bought way too many clothes over the last two weeks since Black Friday was the first day that I bought clothes. If you're my siblings, probably stop watching this unless you want to know, or my mom, or my dad. Probably not my dad is not watching this, but my mom definitely is. So mom, stop watching because you're gonna see what you got for Christmas. And same with my siblings. So Steven, I know Steven's watching this. Steven, quit watching, okay? Turn it off, <laughs> I'm just kidding. My brother definitely does not watch my videos. Okay, let's get right into it. So, Nike employee store haul. We'll start off with the gifts. So, the first gift I got is for my younger sister, and Sarah, she already knows what she got. I, she told me exactly what she wanted, but I got her a pair of Nike Pegasus 37s. So I got her the men's one. The men and the women's are pretty much the same. I think the men's might be a little wider, but honestly, they're pretty interchangeable, as long as you get the right size. Um, so I got her these white Nike Pegasus 37s. Um, she said that she needed new running shoes, and I thought these were really cute, so there we go. Obviously, I'm a Pegasus fan, so she is too. For my mom, I didn't really know what to get my mom, but she said that she wanted some new clothes, or like, I don't know, she wants new clothes. She wanted a piece of clothing, was one of the things that she went on her list. So I got her this jacket. Um, my mom loves like athleisure attire, but I think she needs some better jackets, so I got her this cute Nike one. I honestly have no idea if it's gonna fit. And I feel like this is a little bit out of my mom's comfort zone, but we're gonna go with it. I think it's cute, it's like pleated a little bit. She lives in San Diego, so it's not like too thick or anything, but it's, I thought it was cute, so. Mom, you probably are still watching. I hope you like your present. For my brother, Steven, he's 20, and he, I don't know what he likes to do other than play video games and surf. Um, so I don't know how to shop for a 20-year-old boy, but <laughs> 
He said he wanted some Nike athletic shorts, so I got him these like gym shorts. So Steven, hopefully you like these, and hopefully you're a size medium, even though you're like 6'6", so. For my dad, my dad said he wanted a new pair of running shorts, but I got him a whole running outfit because I really don't like his running outfits. Um, <laughs> he like wears cotton tees and that irks me because it's just so sweaty. So I got him the this pair of running shorts. They're a little longer because I know my dad's not into the short shorts, but they're like a pretty good material. Uh, pretty standard Nike running shorts. And then I also got him this green running shirt. I thought he might like something a little different, you know? This forest green, it's a little breathable. Definitely better than the cotton tee, so. I already got Ellie a present, so that was it for my family. And then of course, you know, I was selfish, and I was just pulling things off the shelf at this point. Like I was, everything was so cute that I just needed to buy everything. So I'll show you what I got for myself, selfishly. The first thing I got is a pair of new Nike shoes, Lifestyle. I have so many athletic shoes, but not that many Lifestyle shoes. So for me, I went full basic mode and I got these Nike Air Forces. Nike Air Force Ones. It's got a little blue on it, a little blue on the back too. But guys, they're so cute. I love the little metal Nike swooshes on the side. They're not my double platform ones like the other Nike Air Forces I have, but I thought these were so cute and I need a new like white sneakers because my other ones that I have are filthy. Okay, I need to upgrade my socks because I just have a lot of like really old socks like from college and that's kind of gross to keep socks for that long. So I got two pairs of these Nike Spark lightweight crew cut socks. I am definitely a crew cut sock kind of gal, so I got white and black. Next thing I got for myself, um, I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, also I didn't try any of this on, so. So I got this um, cropped sweatshirt thing. I thought it'd be fun to like lounge around in, like maybe with some sweatpants. Yeah, I just thought this was kind of cute, so I got it. <laughs> Again, this is when I started pulling things off the shelf. Um, another thing I definitely pulled off the shelf was this velvet fanny pack. Ask me why I got this. I could not tell you, but I've been obsessed with fanny packs lately. Oh my gosh, I have another thing. It's actually very similar to what I'm wearing right now, and it is this Nike turtleneck. It just says Nike on it. It's actually very similar to the top I'm wearing right now, but it's like more of an athletic material. I don't know. I got mediums, medium and larges and everything, and not any smalls. But then the last thing I got, I saw this and I was like, I need this. Um, I got this jacket. This is not a jacket, a sweatshirt. This sweatshirt. And I was like, I need matching joggers. So what did I do? I bought the matching set. So I already know the sweatpants are the comfiest sweatpants. I'll link them down below. I'll link everything down below. But these are this, the most comfortable sweatpants I've ever worn. And also, like since I'm 5'11", I need long sweatpants. Like no sweatpants or joggers ever fit me. So I size up in these, and they're, they're really good, really loose, but since I'm only wearing them around the house, maybe, maybe I'll wear these out, but. They're long enough, they're so comfy. Best sweatpants I've ever had, especially if you're tall. I'll link them down below. So I just had to get the matching set of athleisure wear because they were just so cute, you know? Next up, I just got a package from Levi's. This is a Christmas present for my parents. So I actually picked out all of the clothes, but my parents bought it for me. So the first thing I got is this set of masks, considering you guys saw my mask. Sorry, Ryan, but as much as I love flaunting your face around, I would like a normal mask, so I got just a, a set of these like, oh, it feels so much better to have like a normal face mask on. Incredible. I only have one belt and it's black and I need to upgrade my belt, so I got this, it's just a Levi's standard like brown belt. That's so boring. Next up, we've got a black trucker jacket. I got a size large. I have no idea if this is gonna fit me. That's the other thing is like, since I never shop and I haven't shopped in years, I have no idea what sizes I am in, in anything. Absolutely nothing. Okay, this is cute. Fits perfect, so I guess I was right. My intuition is amazing. Standard black trucker 
jean jacket. Then I got two pairs of jeans from Levi's as well because I need to upgrade my jeans. I think I have two pairs in my closet, so. I got these straight leg boot cut jeans. They're black. These are the rib cage boot cut super high rise, slim through hip and thigh. Last thing I got from Levi's, these are the rib cage straight ankle super high rise, slim through hip and straight through leg. So they're cropped. Yeah, that was my Levi's haul. And now for the last thing is I shopped at Urban Outfitters on Black Friday for myself, so. The first thing I got is this jean jacket. I'm going to have to return it though because it is too big. I got a large, because I like, I always at least size up in the jackets, but it's just like, I look like Michelin Man or whatever, you know? So I think, it, I wish I got a medium in this. It's just a little too wide, but it is super cute. So I want it, I'm just gonna exchange it for a medium. I got this bodysuit. It's a little see-through, I will say, but it's a turtleneck. And it's really comfortable and cute. And the next thing I got is this is this little star pendant necklace. I just kind of want to up my jewelry game, so I got a couple things. But Urban Outfitters sent me the wrong earrings, so I have to take them back. Next up, I got this little cute tan backpack. I want a backpack, you know, I, and it's cute. I just need to get more bags, and this was cute, so I bought it. One of the next thing I got actually was. I think it was damaged when it came, and then I put it on and it broke. So I'm a little sad, and I don't really know what to do about it. I think I'm gonna contact their customer service because I also need to exchange those earrings that they sent me the wrong ones of. But this was already snapping off, and then I put it on and then it broke, but this dress is really cute. It's definitely tight. I got a large and it's, it's snug. It runs small for sure, but it's cute. I got this bralette. I got a large, and this is also really small. Um, for, I like have, I would say I have a medium sized chest, but for anyone who actually has a big chest and they like, like this looks like it would be medium or could pass, it would probably be a medium. I would say this would looks like a medium. It could pass for a small almost. So if anyone actually has a big chest and they buy this, I feel bad for them because this does not fit big chests. <laughs> Okay, I got it though because I wanted to wear this shirt, but I tried it on and it was too big. I got a large in this shirt and it's just too big, so I'm gonna have to return it. It's too wide, doesn't fit. It was cute though. Okay, and the final, the finale of the shopping haul is this Urban Outfitters dress. It's kind of short, but I actually really like it. Again, this one runs really small too. This is a size large and it's so tight, but I'm glad I got the large, not the medium. And it's just a little short, but I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't really know yet. This is a TBD, but it's still pretty cute. Yeah, so I think I'm done shopping for a while. Honestly, way too many new clothes. It's overwhelming. I'm gonna have to sell some of my old ones to make room in my closet. But yeah, that was the little shopping haul. Again, I'll link everything down below. It's the next day, and I so forgot to film. Oops, um, I did not finish filming yesterday, but I went over to my college roommate's apartment and we made some drinks and then went home and then today I just did a bunch of work. You guys may be wondering like, why are you not working out, Emma? Um, and that's because I am definitely still injured. Um, if you watched my first day of Vlogmas, I think it was the first day, uh, I went to the PT and he said that basically he adjusted my back and said that the veins were compressed and that was what was causing my hip and glute medius to be like in pain and it was from my four hour training ride that I did a couple weeks ago in Flagstaff. Anyways, so I ran the next day and it was still really stiff after I ran. So um, now it is 3 p.m. on Friday and I'm about to go to the PT, but let me show you the fit that we're working with. Please don't, look at, my trainer's under there. Well, you can't even see anything. Well, this is the, the the pants. We've got some Nike sweats. Wait, you guys already saw this. This was in the video. Anyways, I'm wearing the shoes and the sweats. I wish I sized down. I definitely got, I got larges in the top and the bottom. I thought I got larges only in the bottoms, but I got it in the top too, and it's like a little bit too big. It's kind of falling off, but. 
fit of the day. I'm into it. Go with the space buns. What do you guys think of the space buns? Because I have never worn these in my life and I woke up today and I was like, you know what, today it's a space bun kind of day. I'm about to go to PT. I got my form for my PO box, so we're gonna go set that up too. So, touching on my injury a little bit more, my injury, whatever this is, I woke up today and I, after the day after I ran three miles, um, I didn't run or do any working out because pools aren't open around here, but I didn't do anything that was yesterday. I didn't do anything yesterday. I took the day off because it was still pretty sore. And I really think that doing nothing makes it worse. So I woke up today and my back, like my lower back is really sore. Like it was radiating pain through my pelvis and like down my, the back of my body basically. And I was like, that's so weird. Like I haven't even done anything. So sometimes I really feel like doing nothing makes it worse. But then also like, I don't want to tighten it up by biking and definitely not by running. So I talked to my coach being like, she texted me, she's like, how are you feeling? I was like, my back feels really weird now. And then I kind of connected the dots and last year, um, when I was leading up to the marathon, like right around the time I, was, I moved to Portland and I like went to cross country camp and was a counselor there and everything, I was having really bad sciatic nerve like issues and I didn't really realize what it was because I've never had those problems in my life. I don't know anything about the sci sciatic nerve or sciatica. And so I was like dealing with this. It was last year it would shoot pain. It wouldn't even shoot pain. It would like numb my calf. So I'd be running and my calf would give out like every 10 steps or so. Like it was so weird, it was the weirdest pain ever and I didn't really realize that it was like nerve issues in the sciatic nerve. And I went to a massage therapist right as I moved to Portland and he solved it. Like then I could start running again. Basically like my marathon buildup was kind of affected obviously by the, by the sciatic nerve issues and I was really only doing the long runs back then because I, like the other days it was almost unbearable to run and then I went to that massage therapist and he cured it. And then with this back pain now, I'm like, is that the sciatica? Like I it might be coming from my sciatic nerve again, which would explain like, and my piriformis too, which is in my glute. So that's what I'm going to the PT now for, to kind of talk about that more so my back than my back and everything. I mean, it's all intertwined, like everything's intertwined, but I, that would explain a lot. And now like the radiating pain, I don't know. I'm, this is just me and my coach talking and connecting dots here. And I don't know, just the reason that I woke up like with my back feeling weird today, I don't, also, I don't have a stress fracture. Like, I know I don't have a sacral stress fracture or anything bony. It's not bony. It doesn't, I mean, I've never had a bone injury, but it doesn't feel like it's bony. Like, I can still walk and run on it fine. Um, so that's why I, I don't want to call it an injury because it doesn't feel like there's like a big issue. It just feels, even though I can't really work out, it just feels like something's off and it needs to be tweaked or like adjusted or something. Yeah, so that was like a really long-winded answer of what I'm dealing with right now. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, why are you not working out at all? Or if you follow me on Strava, you're like, Emma, you, you have been running three miles. Like, what is going on? And that is why, so. Okay, I'm gonna get off. And the next time you'll see me will be after my PT appointment, so. Okay, um, so I'm optimistic, guys. Gonna come out and say it, I'm optimistic. Why am I wearing my mask in my car? Um, so, the PT's not that concerned and neither am I. He wants to get my frequency up more than the volume of my workouts. What we've come to the consensus with is that I'm using the wrong muscle. I'm using my, I don't know, the top of my hip muscle basically. Wow, I'm just so bad with kinesiology type stuff, I'm really sorry. But instead of activating with my glute, I'm activating with my hip and it's causing like the twingy stuff and then all my tight muscles are basically causing the twingy stuff. So we're really, really gonna work on activation which I, my whole life, you guys know, I, my hips are weak and tight and I don't, I haven't really been the best at doing activation drills before my workouts especially and after, like I just go, will go and sit in my car instead of doing things. So I'm honestly really optimistic about it too. He did some testing, some like adjustment stuff and I feel a lot better than when I walked in. And I, I'm optimistic and said I can like run and work out basically and stuff. 
and it's just more about managing it than treating an injury because I don't have scar tissue. It's just something like it just needs to be activated, strengthened to get my body working right again. So I'm optimistic. I know I was optimistic last time, but I'm actually optimistic this time. I believe that that is the issue because it's been an issue for a long time now. So I should have known that this was gonna come eventually in my life, you know, putting off doing my hip and band exercises for however many years has finally come <laughs> and haunted me with this injury, whatever. This isn't even injury, I don't know what to call it. Just a little break, you know, just a little downtime. December downtime. Who else is taking some December downtime? All right, dessert. All right, we're gonna do the outro in my cabinet. That's gonna end today's vlog. We're getting back to training tomorrow, and thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you're liking Vlogmas so far. I am having so much fun just vlogging again. It's taken me so long just to get back on. I don't know why I stopped doing it for so long, but I'm excited to be back, so I hope you guys are too. And yeah, follow me on Instagram if you wanna be up to date on my fits, especially. I've been grinding away on the fits on there, so. Does that even make any sense? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna eat my fruit get ready for bed, and go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.